Greetings. Welcome back to Hand of Fate. The kings are woken and will not be laid to rest. Oh, they will. Okay, and the wrong finisher and flex. The undead king. In life, he was strong. In death, he's unstoppable. What? Your road will end here, I suspect. But what's a prone finisher? When they lie down? Okay, I'll wait for rings since we need them now. Um, Kioscop. I'll spread circus armor, I don't feel like that. Rifling? I know, no, 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 I need this. We'll be fighting against undead. Mace. Okay. And just like that, we have two new cards. Perfect. I won this pentacle longer ago than you can imagine. You called it a pentacle! For many years, I have only now begun to understand its secrets. Yay! I'm excited because so many people would have called it a pentagram, not pentacle. Hey! The pentacle is an item with pen. The king pen of skulls uh. is the last of the undead to have slipped from my grasp. You are the first to come close to him. Yeah, the pentacle is a item with pentagram drawn or pressed encrusted on it. Oh my goodness, I wasn't watching. Ah, of course. Yeah, I it's naive know it. to expect you'll face a king without a challenge. Hello. Um. Bless me. Eh. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. The very embodiment of the earth. For some people, that is home and hearth. For you. It is a terrifying beast. The veterans of the old war spin tales of large, powerful creatures built of rock and flame. Not all of their attacks can be countered by more mortals. Okay. Let us take a token on their foolishness. In a cave system dark and deep, you stumble upon some strange flaming creatures surrounding an old man. They turn to face you as the old man cringes in terror. I think my weapon's broken. Ah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that hurt. Just die already. Really. I don't like this arena. It's too cramped. Thank you, stranger, the old man says. I've traveled these tunnels for years, but I haven't seen lava gone this close to surface since I was a boy. Oh. Now that you've slain this lot, I hope the rest of their kind learn to stay underground where the king exiled them. You and the old man head out of the tunnels together. Taverns, caves, dungeons and the roads between them. Over and over again and again. You'll find yourself in a seedy old tavern spinning tales of your adventures to again. 
widget move armor so okay you can try yeah I'm strong you win the old soldier gingerly turns out his pockets I seem to have misplaced my 20 gold will this do instead I'm sure you agree no. for that that won't do One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. Previously, I had underestimated you. Then, I resented you for destroying my minions. Now, however, I cannot lose. Either way, a great annoyance is dealt with. In your dreams one night, you are summoned to a fire pit and greeted by a demon. I sense you have some spiritual aura about you. I am willing to trade your magical item for it. Sure. The demon's eyes you hungrily. It opens its fire more and you feel some part of your soul dragged into the huge abyss. Tasty! Mm, the demon exclaims. Your new magical item will be sent along to the mortal realm soon. In the meantime, take this old thing. Thank you. I'm surprised to see you turning your back on gold. What gold? I will happily wager on the outcome. Yes, I'll pay you. I do not think you have what it takes. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against the filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army, I won't need to rely, rely on it to protect me. Hmm, nice. But still rats not. have so few friends amongst mankind. Yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. We'll go. Chop. We're going. In so many tokens. Goblin Crown. Where well, this is too much from trap. Maybe I should sell my weapon. But it's for 10. 10. 3. For 4. What? I will sell this stuff. What armor do I have? Of this one. This and that. Druids. Okay, I will go back there. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? Yeah. It's also very healthy, lived by the sea. Let us meet those who worship natural forces rather than the gods. You are approached by a group of mysterious robed people. One of the robed figures addresses you. You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? We are druids wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures and or bandits. We will pay gold to one who protects us during the ceremonies. The first ceremony will be at the Sacred Stones at exactly midday on the summer solstice. We shall see you there. I have foreseen it. You need those tokens. Nice. Maybe I should have bought some food. I will. I will buy some food. Oh, maybe you have new stock. I remember correctly. Change it? Last time I tried? Yeah. There's a ring. Thunder swing. I like this one. You think that will help you? I don't know. Yeah. I could, I could have brought some food. Ten food is to be exact, but I don't know. <laughs> Voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. We only need one more ring. The totem. I bet oh. you're thrilled to see Jack again. Not really. Not, not really.
No, 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 this place is too small. Did it work? Run! Run! Okay. No, no, no. Do this. No! Oh my goodness, that was bad. Oh, I hate Jack so much. Okay, he died. <laughs> I think he died from poison. Thank you. Goblins. Oh, this sorry. Token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. One night you awaken to find your belongings being riffled through by goblins. As soon as they notice you steering, they run away with your weapon. Oh! They have also stolen some of your food and gold. Give me back my maze. I don't really care about that much about food, but give me back my maze. I'll kill you. I'll kill you in particular. I hope you cannot use it. Okay, he is dead. Come on. Thank you. As you prepare to continue your journey, you notice a small figure hiding in the shadows nearby. You pounce on the creature and drag it into the light. Hello, my boy! What a coincidence meeting you here! Mr. Lionel exclaims sheepishly. Having a spot of goblin trouble? Mr. Lionel gives a deep sigh, sits back down and says, Well, funny thing, really, I wanted the crown to blackmail my way back in the city, but it turns out that this way is much better. He goes on to explain how, after learning that a brazen human thief had dared to raid the Goblin King's own treasure vault, stealing the king's crown, no less. He sent word to the king that he could help get it back in exchange for ending his exile. All I had to do was agree to help with his guards find you and he revoked my banishment. While the crown remains stolen, he can continue to rule by default. He needs me to help him make sure nobody else gets it first. I suppose... Now, hurry up. We don't have forever. I suppose he'll keep trying to find the crown, but I'm sure you can deal with his lackeys. Eh, lad? Mr. Lionel produces a horn from an inner pocket, playing a quick sharp note and a magical portal appears behind him. Don't let this world get you down, friend. You never know when luck will go your way. With that, he grabs his toes, rolls backwards into the portal and vanishes. Okay. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's keep on going. Okay, I don't mind six rats. Come here. You know what, actually? Wait a second. Oh.
Oh, I missed. Yay! Nothing? Yes, more food. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Now you have reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? You will find yourself lost and alone in a desert. Let's pray to the old gods. What could go wrong? Choose from these options. Damn it! We'll see. Your prayers go unanswered and you are shot by an arrow. Looking up, you see bandits approaching. Yeah, that's not so bad. What? Ah! My microphone goes crazy. Thank you for resolving your own trouble. Okay. Wait. That was something shady with that one art. You salvage what you can and make your way out of the desert. Hey, you again. I really hope it will be my way out. Really? Right. Hmm. Never mind. After all, they're all dead. And we're going to some food. Nice. Do you have something for sale? It's appealing. No. I will gladly take my ring, my stuff. Yeah. I'll leave you to yourself. is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not <gasps> have to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, we have tons of rats. Don't get them out. Take out those. Wait, I fought. Yeah, they're still alive. Thank you. Yeah. 
There's a token in it for you if you win. One day, as you haggle with a grocer for some cheap food, you find yourself suddenly flying into the air. A vortex of wind surrounds you, propelling you up and away toward an unknown destination. In time, you are dumped into a stony platform before the wizard, Zahagan. He glares at you for a moment with his single eye, the other a hideously scarred wreck. You have caused great harm to this land, warrior. The council seeks only to ensure peace in this realm, and you have sown a chaos. Even now, the demon Abadion still rages in the depths of the tower, the sacred temple of knowledge itself. It will take us years to recover. He gestures with a hand, now missing several fingers, and a portal opens, revealing a trio of mages. Kill him, Zahagan says, limping through the portal. I think we've dealt with mages before. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess we didn't. There. Wait, there was two of mages. Why are there? Why are there three of you? Really? Wait, he's still alive? No. He's dead, Bobby. The Hagan suddenly appears, furious with seeing and seeking with magical energy. Warrior, your skill with weaponry has made you a great thorn in my side. He poses to keep the body of our mage. Idiots! If not for me, the simpletons would still be hiding in the tower. Nothing more than a bunch of spineless librarians. Let's see you fight your way out of this. A shield of magical green energy appears instantly around him, and he launches into a long and complicated pattern of sounds and gestures. A raging ball of flame forms in the sky above you and starts to grow as the wizard continues his chant. The devils take you. Dragon cries, disappearing into another portal as the massive fireball plummets down towards you. The last second, with no other avenue of escape, you throw yourself off the edge of the stone platform. After falling for several seconds, a tentacle suddenly reaches out of the portal, plucking you from the air and bringing you back into the tower of the White Council. It's been called the game of eternity that we play. I didn't think that meant you'd take forever to make a decision, mind. Abadian the demon sits surrounded by the bodies of all mages. It places you down lightly with, and withdraws its tentacle. You have been useful, mortal, a dozen mouths said. And you will be useful to me again one day. Go now. The thing watches you with its many unblinking eyes as you back out of the room. You scarcely pause to loot the abandoned rooms on your way out of the tower. I really hoped I would get another room. Ooh. A curse. We can only hope. One day, while traveling through a forest, you come across a man hanging by his ankle. You inquire about his current predicament, but he explains that he doesn't want any help. I have accepted my destiny that fate has decreed for me, just like you should accept yours. Very nice indeed. You leave me. You leave the clearly deranged man to his fate, since that is what he wants. Oh, okay, this wasn't the last one yet. Do I have. Metal Arm? No! It has been many ages since the King of Skulls has seen combat. He is hungry. More ill fortune. More injury added to insult. Yes, I'm mad. I'm mad at myself so much. We'll follow the tracks for now.
Oh. Okay, is really I press why do I have to go back with the Another curse. You're not speak. having much luck right now, are you? Yeah. Pity the losers or scorn them. Give you one food. Because I don't have much to spend. Despair. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. Of course, but they were perfect for you. Damn it. Okay, let's go back this way. Hmm. Win this and claim my token. This one? Yes. A choice. Damn Select it. your desire. Okay, there's no... Um, hmm. No. Okay, food. I should have brought some food. Okay, either way, there's a 50% chance that we will fight the King of Skulls. Yeah. One must now end. That you are a bit close to you, I guess. Okay, he's creating more skeletons. What the? What? There's a right, there's a right, there's a right. Man. No. Oh. Okay, he's dead. The only one left. Give me that. I have no idea what happened in the beginning of the fight, so just let it be <laughs> unanswered. I admit you've been well used here. The King of Skulls has avoided my grasp until now. You have sent him to my realm. It is time for a long delayed reckoning. Oh. Take the pentacle then. It will only benefit you so far and no further. More power for you. Okay, there was some issue with subtitles here. <laughs>
Okay. We've defeated. You've come further than I ever expected. The King of Skulls. And that's gonna be it for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.